Suck it up. I'll get enough sleep when I'm dead. A couple of phrases we've all heard before, and maybe some that we've even put into practice a few times. But I can tell you after reading this next book, this book that I placed on my 2024 reading list, that not only are those bad ideas, but they're likely harmful to our health. In Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams, the author Matthew Walker dives deep into the science of sleep, revealing its profound impact on our physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Sleep is not something to be neglected or sacrificed, but rather a cornerstone for a healthy and fulfilling life. By understanding the critical role sleep plays in making a conscious effort to prioritize it, we can unlock its tremendous power to improve our lives in countless ways. The book delves deeper into the science of sleep, exploring the intricate workings of the brain during sleep, the fascinating world of dreams, and the historical and cultural perspectives on sleep practices. The central message here is sleep is not just a passive state of rest, it's an active process crucial for maintaining optimal health and performance. Chronic sleep deprivation has dire consequences, affecting everything from our brain function and immune system to our mood and risk of chronic disease. And in this book, he debunks several different myths. First myth, seven to eight hours of sleep is a one-size-fits-all rule. The reality, however, is sleep needs vary slightly by age and individual. However, most adults require seven to nine hours for optimal health. The second myth, you can catch up on sleep on the weekends. The reality is, debts accumulated through sleep deprivation cannot fully be repaired paid with occasional long sleeps. And so consistency is key here. He mentions that throughout the book. Naps are unproductive. I didn't know that. That was kind of an eye opener to me. And so naps being unproductive is a myth. The reality is that power naps of 20 to 30 minutes can boost alertness and cognitive performance without interfering with nighttime sleep. So get your nap in. Some of the benefits of sleep. The cognitive enhancement, sleep consolidates memories, enhances creativity, and improves learning and decision-making abilities. For your physical health, sleep strengthens the immune system, regulates the metabolism, and repairs tissue, lowering the risk of chronic diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and Alzheimer's. For the mental and emotional well-being, sleep reduces stress, improves mood, and regulates emotions, and combats depression and anxiety. Some of the improving sleep quality ways, and he touches on this throughout the book and how to do this is how to establish a consistent sleep schedule. Create a relaxing bedtime routine and optimize your sleep environment. For me, I was lucky. I've been doing this and I found it in the book, making sure it's cold, dark, and quiet. Avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bed. I certainly have been known to have a beer or two before bed and that's not a good thing and I understand why now and I understand much more clearer. And also getting regular exercise is important. However, you don't want to do that too close to bedtime. It can actually be somewhat counterproductive. Why We Sleep did spark a global conversation about the importance of sleep. I heard about it quite a bit and this is why I read the book. However, it offers practical tips for improving sleep quality and challenges societal norms that belittle the need for adequate rest. So my three big takeaways of this book. First one, sleep is not a luxury. It is a biological necessity. The book debunks the common misconception that sleep is simply a time for the body to rest. The author paints a picture of sleep as an active, vital process with profound impacts on every aspect of our physical and mental well-being. It is critical. Number two, we need more sleep than we think. Contrary to popular belief, again, most adults require seven to nine hours of sleep per night for optimal health. The book challenges that hustle culture that many of us grew up in, I certainly did, that glorifies sleep deprivation and emphasizes the importance of prioritizing adequate rest for both personal and professional success, which is everything this YouTube channel is all about. Walker provides practical tips for establishing a consistent sleep schedule and optimizing your sleep environment to improve sleep quality. And my third big takeaway is prioritizing sleep can dramatically improve our lives. And the author presents a compelling case for why making sleep a priority is a life-changing decision. By ensuring we get adequate, adequate sleep, excuse me, maybe I need to get some sleep, we can enhance our cognitive performance, boost our physical health, and improve our emotional well-being. The book highlights the connection between sleep and increased creativity, better memory consolidation, and reduced stress and anxiety. For these reasons, I'm placing Why We Sleep, Unlocking the Power of Sleep and Dreams by Matthew Walker on my 2024 reading list. Hey, thanks again for joining me, for following me on my channel. Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you, really get an idea of what else I should be covering, what else I should be focusing on, and what else you want me to discuss. Thank you.